Nice. And can you just tell me what you guys at No Red, what you guys do? Well, what we do on a daily basis is uh, we monitor the airspace of North America in order to make sure that uh, any uh, unauthorized uh, aircraft or space body coming in uh, gets uh, tracked and identified. So we do that uh, 365 days a year across uh, both countries and uh, leveraging a number of systems actually uh, that are ground-based, air-based and space-based to, to help us uh, achieving that mission. And can you tell me about what you guys do with the tracking Santa when it gets around the Christmas time? That's the special mission, the mission that's currently at very active right now. I just came off of our call center and uh, you should see the quantities of volunteer that are out there right now active answering calls. I took a few calls before coming here, actually. So what we do is we use the same systems. Uh, around uh, North America in order to actually detect and track Santa. Uh, but we also track him uh, across the globe using our satellite-based system as well. And, uh, and uh, we do that so that uh, the kids around the world can actually track where Santa is on his very special mission that is to actually go and deliver uh, to the great kids around uh, the gift that they've been expecting all year. And can you tell me a little bit about the history of Santa tracking? How did you guys end up starting to do this? So we started back in 1955, purely by, I would say, uh, luck. Uh, the uh, a kid back in 1955 ended up dialing a phone number that, would, that had been misprint. And that phone number rang at the command center uh, ear, uh, the predecessor of NORAD. And uh, the officer on call or on duty at that time uh, decided to play ball and just uh, picked up the phone, uh, started answering questions. And then uh, from there, it was history. Uh, in 1958, when NORAD was stood up, uh, we picked up the, the mission and continued uh, since then. And uh, we've been fortunate to leverage about 1,500 volunteers every year, a little less during the COVID pandemic. but. Uh, now we're sitting about 750 or so uh, volunteer this year that will be taking calls and, uh, and following Santa on his very merry trip around the world. So help me do the math. How many years have you guys been doing this? 67 years so far. Okay. And um, just kind of what is the purpose and importance of tracking Santa and giving kids this opportunity to kind of know where he is? Yeah, so uh, you mean the system that we use to track him? Uh, just like, why do y'all do it? Why do you guys do uh, it? Well, because it's important. It, uh, it continues the, ma the, the magical moment of Christmas, uh, and uh, it keeps the, uh, that spice, that excitement in the air on this very special day. Uh, and it's also an opportunity for us to actually connect uh, with uh, people around the world uh, because we've got people not only calling from Canada and the US, but also uh, calling from Europe, calling from Asia. Remember two years ago, I took a call from the Middle East as well. So it's a great way for us to actually connect with uh, that, uh, uh, with all of the followers of uh, on uh, today's uh, Santa special mission. Nice. And approximately, if you had to estimate, how many calls would you say that you guys get? Well, uh, I would say if I compare it to the amount of uh, present currently delivered by Santa, which we estimate right now at 1.2 billion at this time, uh, gift distributed, we, uh, we have over uh, 53, about 53,000 calls last year that were answered in person. Uh, a total of, uh, out of a total of 150 or so thousand calls that we had received. Uh, but that's not the only way that uh, that people can connect with us and can connect with uh, Santa as well. Uh, we had last year over two millions of uh, social uh, uh, media followers, uh, uh, a number of them on our uh, regular website uh, platform, because people can actually follow us on uh, sent, noradsenta.org. Uh, and we had people following us on Facebook, uh, on uh, sorry, Facebook, YouTube, as well as Instagram. So uh, multiple ways to actually find out where Santa is through our uh, NORAD Track Santa activities. 
Nice. And do you guys know how fast Santa travels? That's classified. Like uh, he's got systems that uh, only we could dream of at times. Uh, we understand the star speed. Uh, it could be for Star Trek fans, warp speed. Uh, but uh, I know that uh, what he has to do, though, is to slow down. Uh, whenever uh, we have a fighter aircraft that actually rejoin with him when he enters the skies of North America. And we do that just so that uh, to make sure that Santa is uh, fine, uh, that he doesn't need any assistance, and to also uh, welcome him into our uh, airspace. So Santa has an escort. Yeah, yeah, not uh, the entire time, but we try to actually uh, uh, meet him as he uh, enters North America, uh, through Canada, through the U.S., uh, depending on uh, where he is in relation to our uh, alert bases. Nice. And I guess are there any last comments, thoughts, or opinions about what you guys do or the Santa tracking that you think our viewers should know? Well, I think it's important to uh, understand that none of this would happen without obviously the professionalism of our team here. We have a public affair team that actually spools us up uh, during the year, getting us ready for this uh, very magic moment. And uh, without the uh, number of volunteers, like I said, uh, about 750 or so this year that actually come starting at four o'clock in the morning in Colorado, all the way up until midnight tonight, taking calls. So uh, we're uh, heavily dependent on those volunteers and their energy to keep that magic uh, moment uh, happen. And the last point is I want to uh, just uh, for your readers and uh, viewers and listeners, uh, I just want to say Merry Christmas on behalf of the NORAD team. Thank you guys. And thank you so much for taking out some time to speak with us. We really, really appreciate it. Super. I appreciate your time and uh, have yourself a Merry Christmas. Oh, I will. <laughs> you Thank you. Thank you. Recording stopped. Okay. I should have it recorded. And I just want to thank you guys again for taking time out and helping us set this up. Super. Yes, thank, thank, you. thank you. And if you need a backup, let me know. We have a backup recording as well. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Okay. I'll reach out if I do. And thank okay. you. And you guys have a Merry Christmas. Thank you. All right. Bye.